Yeah, definitely. But it was the first and last passion. Coming to, to, uh, to the end of my career, I started uh, thinking and, you know, uh, having plans for after basketball. The athlete dedicates his life to, to this sport. A person, a normal person, he will say until 65, 70 years old, an employee or working or having his own thing. An athlete or a sports uh, man or a lady, they will reach a point that this salary will stop, this contract will stop. So they should have plans. Since they are young, they have to have this kind of thinking. How did I do it? And how you can do it? I had to reinvent myself. I always loved to have my own business, my own office, my own word related to business. Uh, but I never thought I would reach a point that I will have all this. I started at 24 in a real estate. Buying my own house, renovating it, uh, doing it in the right way, and then selling it. And then I stopped and I started my, my first business, which was the Zone 15 cleaning company. Now we are one of the best cleaning companies in the country. First, I used my connections I made during my basketball career. Two, I transformed something I loved into something bigger. Three, I chose something I loved which gave me more motivation and determination. Four, while doing what you love, ask yourself, what else do you love? Five, the most important thing, when you get your answer, start from there. Six, create your next vision in parallel with your current one. Seven, write down your plan for your goal and develop it with dedication and discipline. No excuses. Eight, search for what you need to reach that goal. You might need to learn new things. Nine, use whatever you know and have in your present to create your future. 10, accept failures, learn from them, and continue your journey.